The National Soccer Hall of Fame is a private, non-profit institution established in 1979 that honors soccer achievements in the United States. Induction into the hall is widely considered the highest honor in American soccer. History The Hall of Fame was founded in 1950 by the Philadelphia Old Timers Association, a group of former professional and amateur soccer players that wanted to recognize the achievements of soccer in America. Topic: <laughs> Museum. The Hall of Fame Museum opened on June 12, 1999 in Oneonta, NY. The museum featured the Hall of Fame, a library, and an interactive soccer play area. The United States National Soccer Team Players Association partnered with the Hall of Fame to create the Time In program, which honored people with a connection to soccer battling leukemia. Since the disease disproportionately targets children a majority of the honorees were youth soccer players, prior to the 2005 induction of the "...magnificent five. Individuals from the early and mid-20th century had been largely ignored. This change was brought about by the acquisition of a large volume of historical records relating to this period. These records combined with previously developed eligibility criteria led to the induction of Tommy Fleming, Alex McNabb, Johnny Nelson, Werner Nilsson and Fabri Salcedo. The notable careers of these five players all took place prior to 1950. The magnificent five were inducted posthumously into the Hall of Fame in August 2005. Sports Illustrated reported on September 4, 2009, that the Hall announced it would be closing to the public. It was open only on certain match days. As a result of financial difficulties, the Hall of Fame cut six of its nine employees during that same month. The director of the Hall of Fame for almost ten years, Jack Huckel, left his position on December 18, 2009. On February 10, 2010, it was announced that the hall would close its facility, though inductions will continue. In September 2015, it was announced that a new Hall of Fame museum would be built at Toyota Stadium in Frisco, Texas, the home of Major League Soccer Club FC Dallas. The new museum opened during the 2018 enshrinement ceremony on October 20, 2018. This new facility features additional memorabilia from soccer legends and high tech, interactive exhibits. Archive After the museum was closed, a collection of more than 80,000 items was distributed to various locations across the country, including the headquarters of Eurosport, a long-term corporate sponsor, in Hillsboro, North Carolina. The collection includes the following notable items The oldest soccer ball made in the United States the 1991, 1999 and 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup trophies The North American Soccer League Archive The 1994 FIFA World Cup U.S. Archive A rare soccer photography collection from New York Depression-era photographer John Albuck Materials from the U.S. national teams in World Cup competition Artifacts from the American Soccer League of the 1920s and 1950s Pele's New York Cosmos jersey. The Lamar Hunt Open Cup trophy. Mia Hamm's cleats. Commemorations of the first U.S. World Cup team in 1930. Eligibility Eligible individuals may be inducted into one of three categories, player, builder and veteran player. New individuals are inducted annually. Topic: <inaudible> Players. <inaudible> to be eligible in the player category, an individual must have met number 1 and either number 2 or number 3 of the following 3 criteria. Retired as a player for at least 3 years, but for no more than 10 years. Played at least 20 full international games for the United States. This requirement is reduced to 10 games if the games were prior to 1990. Played at least 5 seasons in an American First Division Professional League, currently MLS or NWSL, and won either the League Championship or the US Open Cup or was selected as a League All-Star at least once. Topic: 
Topic: Veterans. Players who have met either number 2 or number 3 but who retired more than 10 years ago are automatically placed on the veteran eligibility list. Topic: Builders. To be eligible in this category, an individual must have made his or her mark in soccer in a non-playing capacity and have had a major, sustained and positive impact on soccer in the United States at a national or first division professional level. Due to the broad, general nature of the criteria, nominations for this category may be considered. Nominations are screened by the Hall of Fame historian and researcher who submit their recommendations to the Hall as to the appropriateness of the nominee's inclusion on the eligibility list. Medal of Honor The National Soccer Hall of Fame's Medal of Honor is the highest honor given to people who have grown the sport of soccer in the United States. The medal is awarded to individuals who has "...demonstrated vision and played an historic role in changing the course of soccer in America." The medal has been given out only four times in history. Annual ballots <laughs> 2009 ballot In 2009, the Hall of Fame inducted Jeff Aguz and Joy Fawcett into the Hall of Fame in the player category. <laughs> 2010 ballot In 2010, Thomas Dooley and Preki Radosavljevic were inducted in the player category, Kyle Rote Jr. in the veteran category and Bruce Arena in the builder category. 2011 ballot On February 17, 2011, the Hall of Fame announced the candidates eligible for induction into the Hall of Fame in 2011. This list included individuals for all three categories, player, veteran and builder. On March 29, 2011, the Hall of Fame announced that Kobe Jones, Eddie Pope and Ernie Stewart had been elected for induction into the Hall of Fame in the 2011 player category. Bruce Murray was selected in the veteran category, and Bob Gansler was elected in the builder category. 2012 ballot. On January 31, 2012, the United States Soccer Federation announced that the ballots were finalized for the class of 2012. Voting began on the day of the announcement and will continue until February 17. Twelve players were added to the ballot after qualifying for the first time. They included Tony Miola, Claudio Reyna, Jose Bursiaga Jr., Ronald Cerritos, Lori Fair, Jennifer Lalor, Ronnie O'Brien, Ante Razov, David Regis, Thori Staples Bryan, Greg Vanny, and Kerry Zavanyan. Of the remaining nine players in the pool, Mike Burns, Peter Novak, Carlos Valderrama, and Peter Vermes are in their final year of eligibility. On February 29, 2012, the USSF announced the induction of Tony Miola, Claudio Reyna, Tony Dicico, and Desmond Armstrong into the Hall of Fame. Reyna and Miola greatly exceeded the two-thirds threshold required to enter the Hall, receiving 96.08% and 90.20% of the vote respectively. 2013 ballot. On October 11, 2013, the USSF inducted two former U.S. international and MLS stars into the Hall of Fame. Forward Joe Max Moore and the versatile Peter Vermes were the only players inducted in 2013. 2017 ballot On August 3, 2017 former U.S. women's national team goalkeeper Brianna Scurry, and Joe Macknick were elected to the National Soccer Hall of Fame in the player and builder categories respectively. 2018 ballot 
On May 31, 2018, five new inductees were announced Cindy Parlow, Brad Friedel, Tiffany Milbrett, Bob Condiglia, Don Garber deferred from 2016. The 2018 class will be the first class enshrined at the new facility in Frisco, TX. Inductees Topic Players Topic Builders Topic Colin Jose Media Award Named after the official historian of the National Soccer Hall of Fame from nineteen ninety seven to two thousand seven. Jose is recognized internationally as the preeminent authority on the history of soccer in North America. The award itself honors members of the media whose contributions to soccer in the United States are deemed to be of an exceptional and sustained quality. Topic: MLS Hall of Fame game. The MLS Hall of Fame game was an annual friendly match between two MLS teams. It corresponded with the induction of the National Soccer Hall of Fame. The game took place at at a glance field in Oneonta, NY. See also Street. Lewis Soccer Hall of Fame List of members of the Soccer Hall of Fame